you have a chance to write your own story. What have you got to lose? I don't know. My dignity? Yeah, well, that ship has already sailed. So it. The Bad Guys, the new DreamWorks film that works like a furry bait version of Ocean's Eleven. And that's exactly what you get. It's a heist movie of, well, multiple different heists. And a few twists, but ultimately it ends up being okay. Nothing spectacular, but it's fun enough with some room for growth. Maybe it plays it a bit too safe. I'll tell you what I mean at the end. Uh, this film follows a group of robbers known simply as The Bad Guys, a gang of different scary animals led by Mr. Wolf. Once a heist goes wrong, they attempt to try to go good to stay bad, a classic con. But of course, there's more under the surface, as Mr. Wolf's praise kink is revealed. And just to be clear, yeah, the people who designed and wrote this film probably knew exactly what they were doing with plots and character designs. There's quite a few furry-esque things in here, but it isn't a bad thing. First off, character designs are great. They're all expressive, instantly recognizable, and charming just in looks alone. The human characters work well too, but they do look maybe a bit too similar to other properties we've seen lately. Like they all have those bean mouths from Steven Universe or Turning Red had, but it's to help them be expressive in this stylized world. They aren't the focus, so I think it's forgivable overall. The animation helps elevate these designs, however. Everything moves fast, is ridiculously fun to watch, and is just wildly expressive and over the top. There's even a fantastic dance and fight scene that had some really cool visual gags in it. Honestly, those were just fun to watch watch on their own, and were a good use of the jokes. As for the jokes, eh, they were hit or miss. Most were actually pretty funny, but a lot just missed the mark. Maybe it needed better delivery? I'm not entirely sure. The fart jokes, however, of which there are several, aren't really funny at all. The kids in my theater were laughing, but that was a bit it. Fart jokes can be funny and in good context, but this was a bit too much, especially trying to incorporate it into the plot on two occasions was just not funny. It ends up being overkill and is not a good bit to rely on, but a lot of the other jokes land so it isn't the most unbearable thing to sit through. The story, however, despite the simple premise, is all over the place. A couple nice twists and one absolutely insane plot point that just isn't explained, but whatever, it's a cartoon that clearly isn't interested in believability or sense. It's to make a big third act climax and it works just fine, I suppose. I just wish it leaned into that craziness a bit more so it isn't such a hard turn. Otherwise, it's serviceable and enjoyable heist con flick that has a lot of plot points you would probably expect. There's not really any new material tread here, and that leads to it just being okay. It's not a new classic, probably not worth multiple viewings, but it's still a fun watch and harmless enough to put on repeat for kids to zone out to. If I were to make it better, I might try to put more commentary in it. There's a decent message here that is left on the wayside for the comedy, but could have been explored with some more nuance had the film taken itself a little bit more seriously like Zootopia. Look, look guys, it's hard not to compare anthro animal movies set in their own world and dealing with predator dynamics to Zootopia, okay? It's just difficult. And yeah, this film definitely could have had more nuance. Maybe actual emotional scenes if it took itself a bit more seriously. Maybe get rid of the humans for other animals or slow down sometimes and let characters talk. There's only one slightly emotional scene with Wolf and Snake that was just begging to be something more and it just isn't. They talk for two seconds, and it's over. It's a bit sad, but again, fine for what the movie decided it wanted to be. A cartoon, and not a commentary. And for that, as an adult watching this, it's alright. Not great, not terrible. It was fun. I'm good. I'll move on. The Bad Guys gets a 7 out of 10 from me. Hey, hey guys, thanks for sticking around for another one. This one was definitely interesting. That's all I really have to say about it. There, there's just not a lot here. I wish there was more to talk about because I love this animation. I love the style. It, that, it was just a lot of fun watching it moving characters just jump around all over the place. Again, the expressions are fantastic. This and Turning Red had great expressions, but for whatever reason, the story just is kind of there. It's not fantastic. It's not bad. It's just fine. It's mid. It needed more nuance. I uh, Movies don't have to be commentary. They just don't have to be. This one could have just taken itself as a cartoon the entire way, which it does. But if you're going to give glimpses of commentary, just talk about it. Have the characters talk. These are really interesting characters. They mention backstories. We never see them. And I feel like it's a missed opportunity. I want to see more of these characters. I want to see their backgrounds. 
I want to know what's going on, and I'm just not giving it, and it bugs me. But whatever. It decided it didn't want to be a commentary, so I can't get mad at that. But I can critique it. So, 7 out of 10. That's it. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the things that make the algorithm go. Ring that bell so you don't miss a video. Uh, follow my Twitter if you want. And that's it. Have a great day. And if you're not, have a better one. See ya. I'm just a ghost in your stereo. The fading memory of a shipwreck in the undertow. You're just a lost son of me.